Lamb and Bell, the new sound of Nova Mornings in 2023 is Early Breakfast. How good is this? Ben Lamb and Bell from 6am and Jody and Hazy from 7. You make my morning. They're really funny. I love the change. You guys are doing great. It's amazing. We're loving the show. Every morning. I love you. Jody and Hazy. It's the new sound of Nova in 2023. Good morning, Adelaide. We need to go directly to the newsroom. What did you call me? I don't even know at this point <laughs> in my... <laughs> Let's go to Amy in the newsroom. <laughs> I think I, I think I put Jodie and Hazy together just to save a bit of time, you know? Yeah, I've done that so a couple of times as well. I, I think I've said Josie a couple of times. Yeah, Josie yeah. or Jay-Z. Yeah. Jay Z sounds like Jay Z, doesn't it? What would you prefer, Jay Z? Jay Z, I'm not. Oh, you can call me whatever you want. You're so efficient with time here. <laughs> Within reason, you can call me whatever you want. Good morning, Adelaide. How are you doing? What a pretty morning. Yes, it is a pretty morning. Always a gorgeous morning on a Wednesday, unless <laughs> beer prices go up. Yeah. Come on. Unless you like beer, which this doesn't affect me, but you love a beer, don't you? 706. Have you got a beer on you, dude? <laughs> Just kidding. You like the bolters, don't you? Uh, your husband likes the bolters. My husband loves a bolter. Mm. I like a, uh, I like a little Peroni, just a little cold Peroni on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, right. Just you wait till Sunday, do you? Yeah, Sunday morning. <laughs> Just, kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, beer price is going up today, which is a little bit sad, but that's okay. We'll push through. A little bit or a lot? Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. But it's death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. Well, that's not going to break your heart, no. is it? What about the protests out at Salisbury overnight? A bit happening there. Yeah. So um, it is all happening. Uh, fighting for lower rates, et cetera. But um, look, keep on fighting the good fight. The good uh, folks I, out there. I love trying to talk news with you because I know that you don't watch any news. You just watch your sport, don't well, you? Yeah. <laughs> don't you, darling? Two different worlds, isn't there? There's news <laughs> and there's sport, and it's hard for me to consume both. So we get all the key pieces of information from newsreader Abby. Yes, we do. If you'd like to get involved, uh, breakfast at nova919.com.au, please write in with whatever dilemmas you've got and the judge will make a ruling. We're going to speak to Jesse from MAPS. I think this is one of the first interviews in Australia, if not the first interview in it Australia is. with Jesse. <laughs> Jesse is oh, he's a polarising character to say the least. So this is the bloke with the big top knot, long hair. Um, who is very, very honest yes. with what he's looking for in yeah. a companion. Yes, absolutely. I think he might be Team Jesse already, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, our Premier, Peter Malinowskis, is going to join us because mm-hmm. there is a theory going around that you are one and the same person. Yes, we're going to see if we can debunk that theory and get the Premier in studio to have a chat. Um, Harry Styles as well, looking oh, forward to this. Yeah. So what we're going to do this morning, Harry Styles... It's not coming to Adelaide, but that's okay. What we want to do is potentially send you to his gig in Melbourne. So what you're listening out for is a Harry Styles song this morning. As soon as you hear it, the Harry hotline will open up 13 24 10 and we will put you on the standby list to head over and see the great man. Yes, our Wednesday weather kid has just arrived in the building. The Wednesday weather kid is gorgeous. However... She's got a new baby sister, and I just met her, and now I just all I want to do is smoke her little face off because she's so cute, mm. even though she pooped in the car on the <laughs> way here. That's fine. Uh, apparently, kids poop. Um, and just to give you a bit of an insight, uh, so Jody was hugging such baby and then got the call from Sean saying, uh, Jody, you are on air in about six seconds. And I nearly, nearly brought her in. Yeah, and I was about to say, drop the kid. He didn't say drop the kid. He said, politely hand the baby back. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Mm. That's how it all rolled out. Coming up next in Jody's Juice, which is all the gossip you need to know this morning, uh, Zac Efron is in town. Here he is. He could be with us so, right now. He's very small. So- <laughs> <laughs> so all the ladies are saying there, there's a chance. <laughs> Little Zaki's in town. Well, Hazy, we have got the creme de la creme in the studio this morning. He is the top dog in South Australia. He is our premier, and his name is Peter Malinowskis. Good morning. Morning, Jody. Morning, Hazy. Welcome Great to be with you. And we had to get you in. We were compelled to get you in because um, there's been a lot of conjecture um, from our listeners. Scott, in particular, called us up and said, "I have a theory." that the Premier of the State and Andrew Hayes are one and the same person. Mm. I think that he is duping the South Australian public and I think he is, in fact, the Premier, Peter Malinowskis, in disguise. So who told Scott? (laughs) (laughs) And so we needed to get you in the same room at the same time to dispel the myth that you are one and the same person. And I can confirm... 
two no. very different men who look very similar. Mm. But uh, I, I can honestly say that there's a far better looking rooster across the road from me here, and that's Hazy. Well, it's very nice of you would say that, Premier, but uh, all of my friends, 100% of them, would completely disagree with you. Is that right? That's the feedback that we've been getting via okay. social media. We'll jump on our socials because we did recreate that famous shot of you at the yes. Adelaide Aquatic <laughs> Centre, which I know you love. I know you love that photo, and oh. it hasn't come back to bite you at all. Oh, lucky you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> lucky you wouldn't believe. So we've recreated. My poor daughter here. She she was none the wiser <laughs> that she would somehow find herself um, in this image, but. Anyway. Your poor daughter. What do you think poor me? Do yeah, you oh, ever think baby Jody thought she was going to arrive in Hazy's arms in the pool? Baby <laughs> Jody didn't see that coming. She's also wearing slacks in the pool, which is a bit unusual. <laughs> it is a little bit unusual. Um, but your friends have told you, haven't they, that... Yeah, so look, the the number one message is, and obviously, okay, can I just be completely honest as well? You're very natural in this photo. I'm flexing my ass off. <laughs> okay, so Jody's like, "Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm covering up your abs." No, 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 that's me at my best, and there wasn't much definition. So I did a couple of push-ups. I flexed, and still, my mates are like, "Yeah, yeah no, he's you, a much better Nick than no, you, champion." No. I've got to say, Hayes, you look at a million dollars there in the in the pool. When we uh, open up the aquatic center, I'll get you down there with Jody, and you can do it all. You can recreate oh, this God. moment for us. And we're supposed to have it all open by the end of 2025. So beautiful we'll get you guys down there for the opening. You can recreate okay. the. Budget. I was going to say, uh, can you give me a few months? Um, <laughs> so what? A, a couple of years. <laughs> yes. That's enough time Should to get in good right. nick. Yeah, yeah. Um, now you are a year into the job, approaching a year into the job. Yeah, uh, yeah, about 10, 11 months. Yeah. What have you learned? I mean, you're tracking pretty well, don't get me wrong. Well, no, no, that's that's an excellent question. Um, look, you do want to learn and try and account for a few areas you would have made. I think there's a few announcements where we've started to roll out and do things. We got our timing a little bit wrong. So uh, if I gave you the best example, we committed to um, getting rid of the boom gates or not allowing boom gates at Tea Tree Plaza mm-hmm. Shopping Centre. And at the same time, we were legislating to stop paid parking at Tea Tree Plaza Westfield. We had the introduction of a change in arrangements for paid parking for nurses mm-hmm. and and people will legitimately say well hang on a second <laughs> why are you allowing customers to be free and charging nurses for parking and we managed to resolve that issue and get it all sorted so i think just the ability to go back and actually look at the way you conduct you know, rolling out those policies and making sure that there's a degree of consistency mm. is something you learn from so but by and large we've i feel as though we're largely you know, delivering on our commitments. We've got a lot more to do, um, but I, I'm really enjoying it. So it's a great privilege. How are you going with the juggle? You've got small kids at home. Oh, look, I'm, I'm loathe to complain about it mm. because you know what you're signing up for. Like, when you put your hand up for these jobs, it's like you guys, if you take on breakfast radio, if you started complaining about getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning... Most people wouldn't have too much sympathy for you because you know what you're signing up for, right? I don't so, think we you know, will stop. ever complain about this job. <laughs> okay. Did you hear from the premier? Stop complaining. Because <laughs> I am. I want every morning. But if I'm honest with you, at the same time, that's the hard part. Yeah. Right? So you know, every night you're out at a function um, or a dinner or a meeting. So you do sort of miss out on putting the kids to bed or reading the story, and that that's a bit tricky and a bit hard on Annabelle, but. You make your way through it and, and you just got to give it your level best. And where do you stand on climate change? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what climate change is. That's 5AA talk. This is Nova. But, uh, um, I was going to crack a joke and say it's all rubbish, but no, that would not be consistent with a strongly held belief in that. Approaching a year in the job, do you have any advice for Hazy? Because you clearly could do this job over here better than he can because you should see that. the way he butchers that panel over there with well, all the buttons. I, I reckon he looks like he's got it all under control here. He's got, he's got four different screens, no, three yeah. different screens he's got to look at. Yeah. So. It looks like a pretty sophisticated scientific exercise. But can you see that look on his face? That's called resting, confused face. He has it all the time, 24-7. Oh, oh, here we go. A bit of Taylor Swift, that'll work. That'll work for now. Good timing, mate. So, uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift has actually started to appear on my Spotify list. Oh. Yes, because um, my daughter's got access to my phone and worked out how to unlock it and and put on her songs on Spotify. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going for a run in the morning, and all of a sudden Spotify, um, you know, I've got on the, the random selection where I've got on this Taylor Swift coming down. I'm like, <laughs> Did something <laughs> happened to me? <laughs> but it's just turned out in so. Oh, dear. That is an interesting vibe to put out there as well. If someone runs past you and hears what's blasting through your head. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, theoretically, if, you, if I was to set a challenge for you to swap jobs for a day... Do you think you could both handle it? Oh, geez, how hard could it be being the most popular man in South Australia? <laughs> <laughs> can we give us a crack? Look, um, you could roll it. Do it on, do it on a parliamentary sitting day. <laughs> oh God! Like that. Roll up for question time, Hazy. That would be fantastic. Yeah. But you, you wouldn't want me doing this gig. I'd, 
like you think Hazy butchers the panel. Imagine what I would come up with. You'd have ad breaks going off at all the wrong times. I feel like you're not oil being played on repeat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what we might get you to do next week, if you're happy to, come back in, jump over that side of the desk. And then you can be Premier for a day. Ooh. What Are we happy with this arrangement? No. What could possibly oh, go wrong? I'm looking forward to um, going to a press conference and then getting asked these questions and then that monkey with the tambourine starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> and, and what would be first on the agenda, bringing the NFL to Adelaide? Well, I've been pushing for the Super Bowl for quite a while now. Oh, is that uh, all? Premier. <laughs> is that <a> <laughs> <laughs> if anyone it. can do it, it's this is man here. All? And I'll tell you me. what, it's uh, getting very, very close as well. So. <laughs> uh, it's, it's about time, Super Bowl sort of left the United States and went to some other part of the world with, with fans that are more obsessed with AFL than, than that code. But exactly. Good thinking. Mm, All right. Who well, do you go for in the NFL? Um, I don't really have a specific team, um, but I do like watching... Oh, I like the Chiefs. I'm a big Pat Mahomes fan. Okay, yeah. yeah. You? Uh, I went through a fan with the Pats, uh, the Patriots. Big and Tom uh, Brady, man. Yeah, but... Uh, I, I'm not. I don't follow it as closely as I used to. My brother loves it, and he's a big Patriots fan. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't say I'm across how they're travelling at the moment. The last few years, I sort of dropped off and haven't had the chance or time to to, to follow it that closely. Yeah, Brady left, and it really, really took them off the map. Yeah. I was heartbroken when he broke up with Giselle. If those two can't make it work, then who can? Well, I think Tom's rebounded pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week, Premier. Sounds good. Ever felt like a holiday after your holiday? Like after every single holiday for me. <laughs> Plan your next getaway on the What If app and access mobile exclusive deals. Plus, select hotels are fully refundable just in case you change your plans. Booking cancellation windows apply. What if it's Aussie for travel? The biggest breaking story this town has ever seen. This is huge. Well, in some massive breaking news, Alec Baldwin has officially been charged over the onset death of a cinematographer in 2021. So involuntary manslaughter charges have been filed in New Mexico against the 64-year-old actor slash producer and the armourer on the film Russ. This was him at the time. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. It's just an unbelievable situation. So how did the it? gun go off? Exactly right. There's a lot of unanswered questions. So the district attorney listing uh, listed a string of safety lapses on the set. The DA says Baldwin failed to undergo firearms training. He was then supposed to get minimal training but spent the whole time on his phone. Uh, there's a sentence of up to five years in prison wow. if convicted. So hasn't his life turned upside down? Mm. Um, uh, someone down under is Zac Efron. I'm not overly aware with the uh, work of Zac in High School Musical, but this song like in it, particular though? seems to get uh, everybody in the studio dancing. Newsreader Abby's going at it. Producer Zoe, I've got a bit of shoulder shimmy action. <laughs> Very awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's landed in Melbourne. He's here with co-star John Cena for the R-rated comedy Ricky Stanicky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it even sounds dirty, it does, doesn't, it? doesn't it? And some huge Lewis Capaldi news this morning. Lewis Capaldi's amazing, by the way. Uh, and if you follow him on Instagram... He's very funny. Well, like, what sort of funny? Like, he's he's loose. He's yeah, right. really, really loose, and he's very open about who he is. Yeah. He's very, very happy to take the PI double five out of himself. So yeah, from, judging from his songs, I never thought he'd be, like, up and about and funny. There's a bit of darkness that comes out for his lyrics. Yeah. But as a person, very laid back, it would seem. Well, anyway, do you want me to get to the Lewis Capaldi news? Sure, yes, please. Uh, he is going to be joined in his Aussie tour... By none other than Noah Cyrus, aka Miley's sister. There you go, that's big news. Who apparently has a massive following. So, yeah, it's the broken by desire. Hang on, let me say that again. It's the broken by desire to be heavenly sent tour, which is the longest tour name I've ever read in my life. Mm. That's probably why I butchered it. Solid. I don't know who's to say. Good solid title name, like uh, Panic the Disco when they released the song uh, <laughs> Flying is the most fun a girl can have without taking off her pants. Yeah, it's a lot too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he's here on the 13th of July at the magnificent Adelaide Entertainment Centre. It's going to be huge. Tickets are low already, so head to secretsounds.com to get your little mitts on some. Coming up next, Jodes. Mm. We're at, uh, South Australian royalty will be entering the studio. <gasps> Can't believe it. The Premier, Pete Malinowskis, we're going to debunk a myth. Hmm. And unfortunately, we aren't the same person because I'd be happy to swap. <laughs> <laughs>
Worst Job Wednesday. Jody and Hazy's Worst Job Wednesday. Okay, Hazy, so uh, you're the new kid on the block. Uh, I think it's about time you paid your dues. Okay, in what space? Is it my turn for a coffee? No, it's not <laughs> that. It's I would like for people to get to know you. So what we need to do is to get you out and about in the community. So I've come up with this segment. It's called Worst Job Wednesday. And you can get in contact with us at breakfast at nova919.com.au. So basically, we want you to write in with your worst job that you don't want to do, but you would like Andrew Hayes to do. Now, you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. There's no question about that. You've been a landscaper. Uh, you grew up on a farm. You've done all sorts of tradey stuff. You worked in Cara's dad's ice factory. Now, that is not what it seems. Yes, that is frozen water. <laughs> Absolutely. Can guarantee that. I just, what about what about the brains behind this, Producer Sean? Like, really? So, Joe's idea is we're going to integrate you in the community. We're going to give you the worst job possible. Yeah. And that's going to make you meet some people. I've, Thank you. I've paid my dues in the radio space, okay? So now you're up. <laughs> okay. And if you're up for it, we've got Lisa on the phone who has got the worst job for you on this Wednesday. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Jody. Good morning, Hazy. How are you? Going good, thanks, Lisa. Thank you for getting involved. I, I, is is this job to, uh, I don't know, uh, enjoy a muffin and a cup of tea with you? Because I'm down <laughs> for that. Well, Hazy... You know, I think your name's going to change from the Jody and Hazy show to the Jody and Ballsy show. Ooh, okay. Jody and Ballsy show, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need to grow some for this job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll ditch horse and we'll call <laughs> <laughs> We'll ditch horse. <laughs> right, well, it's not catching on anyway, mate. What have you got, Lisa? Well, you know those little eight-legged creatures that have been webbed as home? Oh, gosh. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I think. Have- oh, no. <laughs> I have this pergola area, oh. and between the pergola and the fence is full of webs and oh my God. spiders. Yuck. And I'm a real arachnophobic. I mean, my friend told me a couple of weeks ago to get a broom and go down the side of it. There's no way you're getting me near it. Right. Okay, so you essentially want Hazy to come to your house and clear out the spiders. How do you feel about that, my little friend? Um, how are your gutters looking there, Lisa? I'll <laughs> clean them out if you want instead. Oh, no, no, no. Those spiders need to go. Yeah. Right. Well, have you tried to talk to them nicely? <laughs> um, Lisa. <laughs> oh, no, I did spray them. Oh, that just that made them work. really angry. <laughs> 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 now they're looking for an opportunity to bite. So there's nothing I won't do, but uh, we're in the same boat here, Lisa. Uh, spiders just make me shiver. Yeah, you just shivered in the studio <laughs> when she was talking about them. Lisa, how big are we talking? Oh, no, I've just mainly seen Daddy Long Leg, oh. but... You just wait till you see it. Yeah, right. still, Daddy Long Legs can be very intimidating, especially <laughs> when they do that thing where you spook them, they start dancing. <laughs> and they bob up and down. You're like, what are they plotting? <laughs> what are you guys up to? Stop dancing, you're messing with my head and you're gaslighting me. <laughs> Stop gaslighting me, Daddy Long Legs. All right, this is the deal, Lisa. Okay. We'll come out to your house and I will dispose of these spiders. And sure, I might take a few bites. And what happens if a daddy long legs creeps itself into my mouth and digests itself in my stomach? I might die, but that's all good. Are these things you've for thought the cause. Of? Wow. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, that'd be fantastic. I'm oh. looking forward to it. What? Me dying? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if that happens, I'll promise I'll give my condolences. <laughs> You're all heart, Lisa. Uh, okay, you're heading to Lisa's house to clean out her spiders. Oh, I'll see you soon, Lisa. Okay, see ya. We're in the dark. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Hazy's on this daisy. Yep, welcome to Wednesday. It's hump day. It's the 1st of February as well, which means... Oh, how big was January? You really packed them in, didn't you? Oh, just a couple of extra kgs. Uh, Nothing you can't work out for the next 11 months. Nah, sure. Yeah, Before you to do it all again. Take a little wee and I can't really see what's going on down there. Come on. Let's come get back on, on track. <laughs> come on, mate. Don't, I, don't play it down. <laughs> 1972. First hand held calculator hit the shelves with a hefty price tag of $395. For a calculator? For a calculator. Oh, 300 and how much? $95. Just to write boobies mm. on your little screen. <laughs> exactly. Turn it upside down. What have you got? <laughs> Outstanding stuff. 1976, Sonny and Cher resumed their TV show. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. That's despite a real-life divorce. That's as awkward as it gets. Oh, yes. Can you imagine working with the ex-husband? Mm. Can you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 1994, Harry Styles was born. He's 29 today. If you're feeling down, I just want to make you happier, baby. 
Now, according to producer Zoe's official count, she did some research. Harry's tattoo collection has now surpassed 40 pieces. Among the notable tattoos are a mermaid on his left arm, a pair of swallows on his chest, and a butterfly on his torso. No sign of a pineapple, as we know, and also no W's on his cheeks. <laughs> no nickname of Wow Styles. <laughs> 2004. God, grow up. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> okay. February, okay? 2004 wardrobe malfunction. Janet Jackson's breast is exposed during the halftime show of the Super Bowl. Resulting US broadcasters adopting a stronger adherence to FCC censorship guidelines. Didn't Justin Timberlake and his busy little hands. Oh, so fortunate though that she had like a star sticker on her nipple. That was so lucky. Yeah. God, Janet got lucky that day. Which is the practice, is it not, ladies? That you always have some sort of sticker covering your nipples? I only like to alternate. Stars one day, moon the next. Mm, okay, good stuff. 2013 House of Cards, starring Kevin Spacey, was released as a Netflix original. No endorsements whatsoever of Kevin Spacey. There are two kinds of pain. The sort of pain that makes you strong or useless pain. The sort of pain that's only suffering. I have no patience for useless things. That's a great series. It was a great show. Mm. Uh, it didn't happen well for Kev, though, did it? It did not. Uh, it did not. It's ending pretty well for this bloke, though. Number one song on February 1st, 2011, Grenade by Bruno Mars. Oh, that's the... <laughs> That's a cat that's really suffering a terminal disease. <laughs> this is Bruno Mars Grenade. Oh. I'm Jody Nazy. Good morning. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Josh Jody. Ah, there she ah, is. The judge is back in town, and you can contact her at breakfast at nova919.com.au, which is a really odd way to get in in touch with a magistrate, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, it's all online these days, isn't yeah, it? Isn't it? <laughs> if you've got a dilemma that needs solving, please feel free to write me an email. Dear Judge Jody, my boss has just added me on social media and I have to admit I find it creepy. I've ignored his friend request on Facebook. However, on the weekend he started following me on Instagram where I do share personal photos. Is this normal? What should I do? This is Claire from West Beach. Jeez, hmm. oh, good question. Uh, it depends what you're posting first and foremost. Well, this is my immediate thought. If you don't want people, anyone, to see your personal photos, then just whack your little Instagram account on private mm. or don't post them in the first place. Because now it's an awkward situation, and she's ignoring his friend request on Facebook, which is very, very bold, because he knows that she's not accepting him. And that's a big call on your boss, isn't it? Can you still poke people on Facebook? <laughs> is that still a thing? Remember you used to be able to hit poke? Yes. That was creepy. Yeah. So if she's getting poked by him, yeah, there's a big red flag there. Well, maybe that's what he wants to do to her. Maybe that's why he's making an approach. But the whole thing is very, very awkward. What are your thoughts, Andrew Hayes? Uh, are you friends with your boss on Facebook? Um, yes, so I'm friends with Vegan Boss Man. I'm yeah. friends with uh, everyone, all of my colleagues. Mm. I'm friends with my bosses at Seven as well, or most of them, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I I'm completely... I've got nothing to hide, have though, they, as well. Have they tried to poke you? <laughs> um, I haven't checked my... I'm not on Facebook anymore, I deleted it. Yeah, I know. Yes. That's a wise call. It's getting poked too much. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it no, it is a good point, because you probably had shared some stuff early on when you were a bit younger that you didn't want people to see. It's fun. Did I tell you that, or did you just assume that? Because that's exactly what <laughs> <laughs> No, you told me. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's got to go. I'm very open to it. I'm very open to uh, add and have everybody see my life, because I... I don't share anything I don't want people to see. Hang on, that's incorrect because you just said you deleted your Facebook because you didn't want people to see stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is uh, on Instagram and Twitter, but not on Facebook, and I just deleted Facebook instead of going back into the archives and getting rid of all the stupid stuff I did. Okay. Uh, let's go to Newsreader. Abby, what are your thoughts on you this You are one? angry this morning, aren't you, Jen? Yeah. Oh. You're a little fired up. <laughs> yeah. um, look, I feel like I need more information. I always need more information. Um... Are they single? Are you both single? Like, what's the, you know, family life like? What are you posting? But, yes, on the other side of that, if you don't want them to see it, then go private. Yeah, that's my thought. Producer Zoe. My thought is if they've already followed you and you want to keep your page open mm. on Instagram, mm. just mute them. You can mute it so that oh. they can't see your posts and stories. Oh. Uh, so if you don't want to do the awkward remove follower, just mute it. 
I'll can, never see a thing. Uh, here's a question for you. Can people see when you unfollow them? Because I've unfollowed a few people lately. Like, they don't, they don't yeah, get they notified, get but they can search and see that you don't follow them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Mm. Mm. And That's if how you know when people have broken up, because you go and search big time. each page oh. and you go, oh, they're not following each other anymore. Big time. Yeah. Out of the bio. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wowee. And you can also, I discovered the other day, um, see who's watching your stuff. Oh, big time. Mm. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Your, you... your stories. You oh, your swipe stories, up, right. Have yeah. a little scroll. Yep. So, so who's viewed it? Oh, God, I'm learning so much. <laughs> Look this at you go. <laughs> yeah. The judge is being educated today. Jumping on the Facebook. <laughs> 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 okay, 13 24 10, get involved. What should Claire from West Beach do? Her boss wants to follow her. There's a potential that he's trying to creep on her. Uh, does she accept or... Does she not? Judge Jody. Yes, Judge Jody. This morning we have had an email, dear Judge Jody. My boss has just added me on social media. I have to admit, I find it a bit creepy. I've ignored his friend request on Facebook. However, on the weekend he started following me on Instagram, where I do share personal photos. Thirteen twenty four ten. Please get involved in this one. What do you think? that Claire from West Beach should do. We've got a couple of texts. Uh, Casey from Warradale says, block him, sis. <laughs> That's block him, him, sis. Yeah, but then how do you go to work on Monday and you're like, oh, g'day, and then they're like, that's going to be the most awkward thing ever if you've blocked your boss on social media. I think it's professional and it breaks down a new barrier. So everyone that I work with, yeah, I want to be friends with because mm. I feel like if you're, well, I'm not super close friends with all of them, but... Taking it to the next level, breaking down that barrier means potentially you're in a safer, more inclusive work environment and you'll take it to the next level. David from Felix So says, I once had a female boss slide into my DMs, um, seeing if we wanted to take things to the, quote, next level. <gasps> That's not the next level I was talking about. No, again, ne- well, <laughs> I mean, you're, all your bosses are male at Channel 7, so I can't imagine you wanting to take things to the next level with them. <laughs> Um, well, you do what you got to do, don't you? And another text here, nothing weird about following co-workers, but if she hasn't accepted his Facebook request, he should have gotten the hint, Tim, from Fairview Park. Okay. That's a very good point. I think the judge is ready to make a ruling. All right, what do we got? <laughs> don't be a dirty bird. Don't be a dirty bird. <laughs> I think as a general rule, it's okay to be friends with your boss on Instagram. However, if you are sharing personal information on social media then you have to expect that everyone and anyone can see it. So I would advise either go private or don't share it in the first place. Okay, so what you're saying is if on your Instagram you have a link to your OnlyFans account, yeah. don't let your boss see it. <laughs> don't let your boss see it. Is this the other one as well? And people somehow to this day are still silly enough to do this. Um, don't let your boss follow you and then rag on your work on social media. Oh, my God. Who's stupid enough to do that? People do that do and they? get found out. Oh, Unbelievable. Uh, online behaviour, am I right? All right. The ruling is in. Do you agree or do you disagree? Ken Texas as well. Kevin coming through. 0488 919 919. Time now to catch up with one of the most talked about figures in this country right now. Yes, you know what that means, Joe. Uh, Married at First Sight is back and we are learning more and more in each episode about all these different characters. Oh, this, and characters is the key. There's some real characters, isn't there? There is indeed. Okay. Uh, one of them, absolutely, is Jesse from WA. Uh, very happy to say as well, is this your first interview, Australian interview, Jesse? Good morning. Good morning, Jody and Hazy. <laughs> hey, guys, I'd love to tell you that it is. Um, it's actually my second. No. Oh, what? <laughs> well, that's my big gig. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, okay, well, let's play a little bit of Jesse's ick list for everybody because, Jesse, I don't think you're alone in this. I think everyone across the nation has an ick list. Do you get for the sure. ick quite easily? Uh, yes, I do. And it's funny you ask that because I actually brought a list to remind me of just how much icks me about dating. Like CrossFit chicks and powerlifters, like chicks who the, the best thing they have to say about themselves is how much they love dogs. Like, you can like dogs, that's great, but surely there's something better you can say about yourself. Another one is the star sign chicks. So, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> Jesse, I'm not just saying this, but I think that there are a lot of men who completely, completely agree with you. Yeah, my phone went off with a lot of <laughs> former male friends being like, mate, speaking on behalf of all of us here. Well, I mean, going through the full list, you talk a lot about women who are obsessed with Instagram and TikTok and all that sort of stuff. I don't think you're alone with that. I think that's a real turn off for most men. 
Uh, yeah, it is. How did it go at the reception, Jesse? when your new bride asked you what your star sign was? What were you thinking? Your face said a lot. What were you thinking? Yeah, hey, my face does say a lot, doesn't it? I actually, uh, you know, I really wish that they showed last night a lot more of the, the really great time that Claire and I had at the wedding. But what was I thinking? Like, okay, yeah. Oh, she's into star signs, or yeah, she's into crystals, but it wasn't a complete deal breaker, you know. Yeah. So emotional too for you, Jesse. Can you take us through that? I mean, you're a marriage celebrant, so you've done this so mm. many times, but it just what did it hit a different spot. Yeah, you know, it really did. I've had a bit of a rough trot with my relationship history, which will be something you will get to learn about in coming episodes. And just, it really was such a beautiful moment at the altar with Claire, and it got to me, you know, having all my best friends there and all her close people there. It was, it was just a really beautiful moment. How have you found being on the show, Jesse? Are you glad you went on it? Because a lot of people walk away and go, "Oh, well, I was betrayed this way," and blah blah blah. How have you found it? Mm. Guys, so far, so good. Okay. Honestly, it doesn't look like it from last night's episode, but it really was one of the best days of my life. I'm not exaggerating. And you've gone into it real low-key. You've got the top knot bun. You've got the pink suit. Just, <laughs> just you went into it subtly. Just, just trying to fly under the radar. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Mate, can you give us some... You're not going to give too much away, but... Uh, are we in store for some giant little pieces of co controversy? Because we do know that Maths likes to serve that dish up very nice and hot. Yep, they, they absolutely do. And let me tell you guys, just strap in. <laughs> oh, strap in. I love it. Jesse, thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. And hopefully everything pans out with your new bride. Yes, fingers crossed. Thanks so much. Good on you, buddy. Cheers, mate. Hey, this is Harry Styles. This is Harry Styles. Oh, I you. Harry Styles is going to be going on tour. Unfortunately, he is not scheduled in to come to Adelaide. So we thought, you know what? We'll get a bunch of listeners and we'll send you to Harry in Melbourne. I think this is an even better experience than going here. Mm. Like jumping on the kite, staying at a hotel, all that stuff included. And Adam from Flagstaff Hill has given us a call. Congratulations, Adam. Good morning, Jodie and Hazy. How are we going? Oh, I'm very well, thanks, so mate. So good. You sound up and about. Oh, I'm, I've just been vibing to that song in the bright. I cannot believe I've gotten through. <laughs> <laughs> um, big Harry oh, fan? Massive. Supported him since, you know, back back in the One Direction days when he was on the X Factor. Uh, I'm glad he can come to Adelaide, but maybe, maybe this is the chance. Who knows? Go and see him in Melbourne. Yes. Good luck, Adam, and congratulations. Uh, one more call? I think so. Adam's on the standby list. Gemma from Gulfview Heights. Good morning. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, massive Harry fan, I'm assuming. Oh, my God. Massive. Like, waited three years for him to come back for this tour, and it's like, it's happening this month. We're seeing, like, Harry this month. Did you um? Oh. Did you catch his work on the weekend where he split his pants mid-song? And some, somehow made yeah. it sexy? Yeah. Oh, loved it. <laughs> <laughs> All the TikToks, amazing. Oh, Gemma, congratulations, my love. You are on the standby list. Very good stuff. All right, so we're going to announce our first winner tomorrow. Um, Harry Styles is bringing his love on tour to Perth, Melbourne, Gold Coast and Sydney in February and March 2023. Don't miss your chance to see him live. Tickets on sale now from livenation.com.au and throughout the day as well, more opportunities to get yourself on the standby list. It seems that Harry Styles is quite popular. Quite popular. And well done to Kelly from Elizabeth Downs, Jessica from Clearview, and also Teresa from Anglevale, also on the standby list. Mm, all right. Splendor opportunities across the day on Nova. Uh, big day coming up tomorrow as well. Yes, massive day coming up tomorrow. Uh, the worst job Wednesday. This is going to be great because... Because you're the new kid, we're going to send you out and do some apprentice-type work, you know, and get in contact with us at breakfast at nova919.com.au if you would like Hazy to do the worst job yeah. on a Wednesday. Looking forward to this. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Queenstown and visit Lisa, who's got a bit of a spider problem. A spider issue. Hey? I also have a spider problem. Yeah, you're an arachnophobe. Mm. Is that, that's the right word, isn't it? That's the right word, and yes, <laughs> I very much am. So if I have to touch these spiders, I might jump up and squeal like a little schoolboy. Ooh, uh, we're going to play a little game called Are You Schnitting Me? So your chance to win a $100 Schnitthaus voucher. One of us will tell a true story. One of us will tell a lie. you just got to choose who's schnitting you. All right. So make sure you catch up on the podcast as well. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Catch you bright and early tomorrow morning. Uh, don't forget as well, more chances to get yourself on the standby list to see Harry Styles. Just keep it locked and over. Adelaide's Jody and Hazy.